Hello, how to solve this? We have t divided by 8 times t divided by 8 equals 8 divided by t times 8 divided by t. So we are solving for all values of t that satisfy this equation. Let's multiply this numerator of the left hand side t times t, that is t to the power of 2, divided by 8 times 8, that is 8 to the power of 2. And this equals 8 times 8 again, that is 8 to the power of 2 divided by t times t, that is t to the power of 2. So at this particular point, we cross multiply. t power 2 multiplies t power 2, so we have t power 2 times t power 2. And this equals 8 power 2 multiplies 8 power 2. We have 8 power 2 times 8 power 2. Now, here we can simply express this as t power 2 raised to the power of 2. And this equals here, we have it as 8 power 2 raised to the power of 2. So at this particular point, we have power 2 here, we have power 2 here. Let's bring this over. So we have t power 2 raised to the power of 2. This becomes minus. 8 power 2 raised to the power of 2 equals 0. So if you consider the fact that we have power 2 here, we have power 2, we have minus, we can make use of difference of two squares. a squared minus b squared equals a minus b times a plus b. And this is our a, this is our b. So let's substitute it right here. We are simply going to have for a minus b, we have t power 2 minus a power 2 times for a plus b, we have t power 2 plus a power 2, and this equals 0. So from here, we are going to equate each of these to 0. We have t power 2 minus a power 2 equals 0, or we have this t power 2 plus 8 power 2 equals 0. So let's solve the first one, which is this. If you have t power 2 minus 8 power 2 equals 0, you move this over here. You have t power 2 equals 8 power 2. You are solving for t. You take the square root of both part of this equation. This cancel this, so this will give you t equals this is plus or minus 8. So you have plus or minus 8 there. Now let's also consider this other equation. You have t power 2 plus a power 2 equals 0. You move this over here. This becomes t power 2 equals negative 8 power 2. You take the square root of put part of this equation, this cancel this. You have t equals here, there's minus here. You have square root of negative 1 times square root of 8 power 2. So right now, what you are going to have will be t equals this, will give you i, that is imaginary number i times. This cancel this, you are going to have plus or minus 8. So t will be plus or minus i times 8. Now you are having four different solutions in total. Let's start this one. Let's start this. We have t1 equals 8. t2 equals negative 8. t3 coming over to here, you have equals i times 8. And also, you have t4 equals negative i times 8. These are the four different solutions, two real solutions and two complex solutions. So you can as well check for each of these values of t. It's very simple. If you want to test for each of them. So let's start with the real. We have t equals 8. We have t equals negative 8. So you have this. This is t over 8 times t over 8. And this equals. 8 over t times 8 over t. If you substitute 8 for t, 
we are simply going to have 8 over 8 times 8 over 8 equals 8 over 8 times 8 over what? 8. So this cancel this, this cancel this, this cancel this, this cancel this. You have 1 here and this equals 1. That alone has satisfied that equation. If you consider t equals negative 8, you will still make use of the same equation t over 8 times t over 8 equals 8 over t times 8 over t. So let me separate this. So you substitute negative 8. You have negative 8 divided by 8 times negative 8 divided by 8. Equals 8 divided by negative 8 times 8 divided by negative 8. So, what happens here is that this cancel this, this cancel this, you have negative 1 times negative 1. This cancel this, this cancel this. What you are going to have is 1 divided by negative 1 times 1 divided by negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 1, this is positive 1, equals 1 divided by negative 1. Is negative 1 times 1 divided by negative 1 is negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 1 by positive 1. So you have 1 equals 1. The negative 8 has also satisfied the equation. So let's consider the complex solutions. We are going to check for the complex solutions t equals i times 8. And we have t equals negative i times 8. These are the complex solutions. We made use of the same equation, t over 8 times t over 8 equals 8 over t times 8 over t. Let's make use of this one here. t is what? i times 8, so we have i times 8 divided by 8 times i times 8 divided by 8 equals 8 divided by i times 8 times 8 divided by i times 8. So let's cancel out. i times i, that is i power 2. So if you take that the i power 2, the 8 will definitely cancel out. Have you seen it? So this equals 8 times 8, cancel this 8, it cancel this 8, so you are going to have 1 divided by i, times 1 divided by i. This is also positive i. This is not negative i. It's positive i. So what you are going to have will simply be i power 2 equals 1 times 1, 1 divided by i power 2. Now remember, square root of negative 1 equals i. If you take the power of 2 of this, this cancel this, you have negative 1 equals i power 2. So this is negative 1 equals this is 1 divided by negative 1. So ladies and gentlemen, negative 1 is the same thing as 1 divided by negative 1. So that satisfied the equation. Let's consider the last one here. Negative i times 8. You have t divided by 8 times t divided by 8 equals 8 divided by t times 8 divided by t. Let's substitute negative i times 8. You have negative i times 8 divided by 8 times negative i times 8 divided by 8 equals 8 divided by negative i times 8 8 divided by negative i times 8. So what happens? Let's just cancel out. 8 cancel 8, 8 cancel 8, 8 cancel 8, 8 cancel 8. So what do we left? What are we left with? Negative i times negative i. That is i power two equals one divided by negative i times one divided by negative i. This will still lead us to the same thing we had earlier on. This is i power two equals one times one, one divided by i power two. Remember, i squared is negative one. It's like saying negative one equals one divided by negative one, and one divided by negative one. It's negative 1. We have negative 1 equals negative 1. It's simple. All the solutions, both complex and real, have satisfied the equation. So that is it. Thank you and goodbye.